Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountainModernLife.com. Today we wanted to touch base with you in regards to our dashboard and how the paint's been holding up over the last nine months. Now we've gotten quite a few questions on exactly that, how the paint's holding up, and so far we've answered uh, extremely well, uh, mainly because we don't spend a whole bunch of time up here and looking real closely at it, um, but from a distance it has always looked great, especially compared to what it looked like before we painted it. Um, but as we were preparing to go ahead and shoot this video to give you an update on how the paint's holding up, we did notice a couple items. Uh, I think we do have a solution that uh, could help you avoid them but before we get into that I wanted to show you some quick pictures on what the dashboard looked like before we painted it right after we painted it and then a few pictures of what it looks like here nine months in Alright, so as you can see from the pictures, for the most part, the dashboard still looks really good. That's why we're extremely happy with the way that it turned out. Um, however, the two problem spots that we have, uh, the one being kind of the hazy, dusty look on the right side over here, and the other being uh, the little bit of chipped paint up front over there, um, both of those were actually caused by our pets. So we had our litter box up here for about four months, mainly because the spot where we wanted to put it didn't quite work out. Uh, and while the litter box was here, the dust from it was actually coming up and settling on the dashboard. And we would qu clean it quite frequently, but it just wasn't enough to get it out. And we noticed that every time we would clean it with various different products, we'd clean it, it would look a little bit better, we'd clean it, it'd look a little bit better, but we couldn't quite get it to where it looked completely clean and brand new again. Uh, and uh, so since then, we've actually moved the litter box back to the back. We'll show you that in another video coming up. Uh, we were pretty excited with the way that turned out. And we also went with a, a lower dust litter, which is pretty awesome. So that'll eliminate any problems in the future. Um, and then the other spot was actually from our cat as well, who um, had gotten sick up front in the front of the RV after eating a plant. And when I cleaned it up, I think um, the cleaning product I used may have actually peeled it up and started that. Now, if you guys are thinking about doing this yourself in your RV or your vehicle or anything like that, what you may want to do is take a clear coat. Um, they have them in spray cans as well. And just after you've put your coat of paint on, let it dry, make sure it's uh, settled and cured, and then take your clear coat and do a nice little coat on top. What that'll do is just create extra protection so that uh, maybe the dust won't settle and uh, when you go to clean it up, you might not scratch anything off. But uh, overall, we're extremely happy with the way that it looks. Um, we're not going to go ahead and change anything as of yet. Maybe in the future, we'll touch up some of these spots and things like that. But overall, if we had to do it again, we'd take the exact same approach. We definitely think it looks better than uh, when it did before. And like I said, for the most part, it's uh, pretty flawless around the entire dashboard. Uh, but uh, we're going to put a post up over on the website here soon that will go into a little bit more detail on exactly the problems we faced, how we tried to fix them, and things like that. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below or visit us at mountainmodernlife.com. And thank you much for swinging by.